With Christmas over, many families will be watching for the bills to start rolling in. But for one Saskatchewan family, the money owed isn't from gifts. They're watching their ambulance fees pile up while their patients plummets. Callie Stefano reports. Even at her age, Shirley Strachan <laughs> tries to stay busy. I'm just 80 and I'm still tearing around quite a bit. That was until she fell while having a stroke in November, breaking her leg. And ever since, the family has been fighting an uphill battle, getting Strachan back home, or at least close to it. I live in my house by myself across the road from the kids. I'm hoping to get good well enough that I can live alone. In less than two months, Strachan, who lives near Kipling, was transferred by ambulance eight times between facilities in Kipling, Carlisle, Regina and Arcola. And on December 23rd, the family was notified that Strachan would be moving from the Wolseley Hospital to a care home in Indian Head the very next day. I don't think any family is wanting to be told that they have to move their family member to a further facility right on Christmas Eve. I would have thought that they would maybe had some heart. The family requested the Regina Capel Health Region not move Strachan until the 30th once their Christmas celebrations were finished. They were denied, causing the family to drive an additional 140 kilometers on Christmas Day. It is my mom. I'm very upset that she has been away from her home and away from me. Something the health region agrees isn't ideal, but in some cases, necessary. We generally would try not to move someone on Christmas Day, but that doesn't mean that if we really needed a bed and their care could be met somewhere else, then we would look at doing that as well. Along with the stress of not knowing where she will be placed next, Strachan faces eight ambulance bills. People are important. Money is not important. Uh, people are important. Um, that's the way I feel about it. But until Strachan's leg heals, the family will have to keep traveling to say hello. Kelly Stefano, CTV News, Indian Head.